Hey guys, so we've been having some speed issues with our Starlink service ever since we connected it to our PEP wave. So in this video, I'm going to tell you how to fix that issue if you're having the same issue as I am. So the issue that I'm having has to do with when I plug in our Starlink Ethernet adapter to the PepWave directly. And plug it directly into my Starlink Ethernet adapter. So we were having pretty decent speeds um, when we were using Wi-Fi as WAN, which is basically the PepWave pulls the Wi-Fi signal from the Starlink router and then puts that signal out just like we would normally have that pep wave put that signal out. So all of our devices are connected to one device rather than our pep wave router and our Starlink router. So that was working fine, but I wanted to hardwire it. So what I did was I got the ethernet adapter for Starlink and I plugged it directly into our pep wave. The problem we're having is we're having some seriously degraded speeds or no service at all. See what kind of speeds we're getting. So it's looking like we have some connectivity, but it really isn't great if I'm being honest. And I originally thought it was a congestion issue just because we're in the Atlanta area right now and there are a lot of people. Um, so Starlink speeds aren't always what you would hope they would be. However, this was completely unusable at, at most times. So apparently there's an issue with the communication between the Starlink router and the PepWave router. They don't like to talk to each other. So one of our subscribers, Vtwin Willie, thank you very much, actually brought it to my attention that this was an issue uh, with these two devices. So I did a bunch of research and uh, he was absolutely 100% spot on. If you put a switch in between the two, that should help that communication, right? Because one is talking to the switch and then the switch is talking to the other. And then that way they don't have to talk directly to each other. And somehow that fixes the problem. Uh, so today I'm gonna show you what I did to correct that issue with our Starlink and PepWave. So I picked up a switch off of Amazon and I actually ended up buying two. So you guys get to see a little bit of an unboxing as well as see it hooked up. Uh, so this is the one I bought. It's Yuan Li, I don't know. There's a bunch of them out there. Uh, I just picked one that, I, that got good reviews and uh, was reasonably priced. So there's a bunch of them out there, but I'll throw links in the description of the one that we got. Um, and I know it works, so uh, there's that. Uh, so, all right, let's go ahead and get into this. So you open up the box and you're greeted with a user manual. Cool, right? You got some cables here. So inside this bag, you've got a few different cables. You've got what I assume is a ground cable of some sort or a couple ground cables. It's my assumption, I didn't use them. Um, and then you've got a couple of these red and black to, I believe it's a 2.5 millimeter uh, power cable. So basically these two ends plug into the switch and this end, what you can do, you can either cut this off and just run it straight to 12 volts or you can plug in uh, one of the little two and a half millimeter, I believe it is, or three and a half millimeter. I don't know, don't quote me, I'll put it up on the screen. Um, and then you can plug it in that way so you can unplug it and plug it in uh, as much as you like. Uh, that's actually what I ended up doing. I already had uh, an extra one of those plugs laying around so I, I wired it up that way. But I'll show you here in a minute. All right, so those are the wires and then you've got some foam and your switch. It is in one of these static free type bags. And that's what it looks like. It's got your five network ports on the front 
And this is actually kind of cool. This is where that power cable plugs into. So you can you can pick any two of those, to my understanding, you can pick any two of those uh, little sockets there. Uh, screw this in. And this is actually something you can unplug and plug in to the switch as well. So it doesn't have to stay in one spot. Um, and then, yeah, there's your little ground post. Again, like I said, I did not ground it. I don't think that that's gonna be an issue. All right, so now that you guys have seen what's in the box, let's head on over to my network cabinet. That is a mess right now, so don't judge me, but uh, let's head over there and take a look at the wiring. All right, guys, so welcome to the inside of my network cabinet. So what you're looking at right now, this is the PEP wave. Over here is the Starlink router. Um, right here is the switch. And then right here is the Starlink Ethernet adapter. So how this works is you've got your Ethernet adapter that comes from the bottom of the Starlink, right? And it's kind of in a jumbled mess right now. Um, but then I plug in an Ethernet cable, the one that was originally going from the Ethernet adapter to the PEP wave is now going from the Ethernet adapter to the network switch. You can see it's this little blue one right here. Then you run another Ethernet cable, which I desperately need to shorten because it's extremely long, but this was kind of for testing purposes. Um, then you run another Ethernet adapter or I'm sorry, another ethernet cable from the switch to the PEP wave into the LAN port. Um, and then that way the switch is talking, or I'm sorry, the Starlink is talking to the switch and then the switch is talking to the PEP wave. And then somehow through some sort of voodoo magic that I don't completely understand, it works. Um, yeah, that, that's, I mean, that's all there is to say about that. That's all I have to say about that. Um, this, just so you guys know, this is that power cable I was talking about. So this end is coming from the switch, and then it's got that little plug right there. And I'll, I'll, I'll throw a link in the description just so you guys can see it. Um, and then it just very quickly connects that way. And then I've got it running to a little fuse block up here. Yeah, so uh, that's how that works. All right, so real quick, I'm gonna show you guys a quick speed test just so you can see that everything is working. Now I do have Starlink for RVs now. I did switch my account over from residential to Starlink for RVs uh, just because it, it we were never at t -t -t today, Junior. the residential place that my Starlink is set for, so it just, didn't make sense. We didn't see any, any of the benefits for residential. Anyways, that said, um, so just know the speeds are not going to be your advertised 150 megs per second speed that uh, you get when you're starting for residential. Anyway, all right, so in my PEP wave settings here, um, you can see we're set to WAN, which is uh, internet coming from the Starlink router, going through the Ethernet adapter, going through the switch, and going into the PEP wave. All right, so let's run this speed test. As you can see, that's a good bit higher than what we were working with previously. I know it's only 16.8 megs down, but that is better than nothing. Upload speeds are looking pretty decent. 7.5. So if you guys are having the same issue that I'm having, definitely consider getting one of those Ethernet switches and putting it in between your Starlink Ethernet adapter and your PEP wave. And that solved my problem, so hopefully it'll solve yours as well. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.